when we want to animate a face um, we can possibly do it just using the rigging bones but what's more commonly known is done is to use uh, shape keys or blend shapes as they're sometimes known uh, I'm going to have a little look about how to do that um, right without much more ado I've got Suzanne the monkey in here um, click on the uh, active data display and down here we've got shape keys um, to which we're going to click plus to make a new one this, gives, this kind of records the basic shape um, we'll add another shape key by pressing the plus we're going to change its name by double clicking it and call it smile with an S there we go um, so with that selected we need to press the pin um, the way to think about the pin is unpinned it will always just show the initial shape key um, and not the one you're working the, not the selected one <coughs> right um, right I suppose we need to make make the monkey smile um, oh, how should we do with this let's use um, proportional editing which we covered before um, oh, let's go with that and let's grab a vertex grab uh, and just kind of pull that out to about there grab that one and pull that one out to there just to give you an idea that's vaguely smiling isn't it gee, just grab that down yay so, I've actually changed some of the um, topology of the model you see the basic shape and the smile shape um, now it has there we go has a relative value. When you adjust the value, you can see it go smiling, normal, smiling, normal, smiling. You get the idea. Let's just add another one. Let's call it a. Uh, uh, let's call it left eyebrow. Left. Oh. Um, and again, let's pin that into position. And let's stick it into edit mode, we've still got proportional editing on so let's grab that increase my uh, yeah, it's not a subtle animation I admit but <laughs> it's fine for what we need uh, now again we can um, we can select it and adjust its value and you see that going up and down now, if you spend a bit of time, you can create animations for everything. So you can get the ears waggling and the eyes blinking and almost anything you like. Um, how you would go about animating this? Um, remember, we did timeline animations using the rig. You can do you can run this alongside them and at the same time. So you can have the uh, monkey moving around or wandering around the scene. But if we go to animation up at the top you get um, again the timeline but you also get um, the dope sheet here now if we change this on this menu to shape key editor um, you get I'm just checking we're on our first basic basic position so that's our shape key so we'll drag along the timeline a bit and then let's make it smile by dragging up why is that not uh... there it goes I think uh, let's move the timeline along a bit and oh so there's the eyebrow going down and you see as you, as you move these things along it uh... draws the animation kind of a assigns uh, values and speed to these things so we can uh, eyebrow up uh, uh, smiling move it along a bit and then you can stop smiling and uh, there it can so eyebrow can go back down 
So we've got 200, uh, we're about 150 frames there. So if we change the endpoint to 150, uh, wind it back to the start. Once we press play, you can see these shape keys kind of play. Obviously, you can move it around. So, this can be playing whilst you animate the model, which is very useful. Well, that, that's the basics of it without going into too much, too much depth. I should leave it there.